Hello aviators, welcome back to my channel. I am Ty Jones, your error nerd, and this video is gonna be mainly geared towards CFI, certified flight instructors. What to do and especially what not to do. What the heck were you doing? What the union even maintain? To you, you're not doing anything. I didn't hear any contact brief. I didn't hear any departure brief. Your lights aren't on. Your your fuel selector is not even on both. What the heck are you doing? You can't maintain maintain altitude. What are you doing? Are you trying to fly? This is not how you fly a plane. Oh my gosh. No. 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 He's going to be here for coming in two thousand. I've heard the stories, and I'm pretty sure you've all heard the stories too about CFIs that gripe and complain and treat their students with dis disrespect. It's like, why? I don't understand why. The student is there paying you all kinds of money to enjoy flying. They're not going to enjoy flying if you do this. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is a steep turn. We're going to start off to the right, okay? Okay. So go ahead and go ahead. Let's go ahead and start. Go ahead and do okay. your right turn. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go what are you doing? My controls. This is how it's done. Okay, this is a steep turn. Or this. Jeez, you can't maintain now too. Your airspeed's all over the place. I keep telling you over and over and over again, you know, to maintain your airspeed. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta lean out your mixture. You gotta do, do your checklist. You're not doing your checklist. You're not keeping your lights on. Or, or you're not turning them off. You know, you're not briefing your approaches. And before I go any further, um, this video could not be made possible without my help of Captain Fly. He also has a YouTube channel too, so um, I'll put a link up to his uh, channel up above. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and like and, su and subscribe. Uh, show some support for him as well. Uh, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out for you. Uh, so thank you, Captain Fly, for making this video possible. Now I understand that some of you, you know, just want nothing but the best for your student. But you're not going to get the best out of your student by doing that. If you're flying perfectly, you got a perfect takeoff. Yay! Who? Oh my God, that was perfect. And then all of a sudden, the guy next to you screams at you. How do you think the performance of that student is going to be for the duration of the rest of the flight? What the heck are you doing? Obviously not that well. So encourage the student. Make them remind them why it's enjoyable to fly. We want them to fly. You don't want to be yelling at them. And some of you may say, oh well, if I don't do that, then the student's not gonna progress or whatever. There's many other ways of pushing the student without yelling or screaming or or making them feel bad in any way or being disrespectful. This is not, uh what about this weather there? Do you, do you think we should divert or something? Or do you think we should straight Direct or, uh, what's that? Besides the weather, the weather there, do you think, do you think we should divert or anything? Uh, I don't know, what does the, uh, what does the, uh, a ACS say? Well, oh, sir, it, it's here, it's right here, like, if you can, like, look, please. Uh, yeah, did you study? Where, I did where, study, where, where, where's the fire? Can you help me, can you help me out, please? Oh, well, somebody didn't look at their advisory circulars, clearly. There's many other ways of, of doing it. And this goes back to the Marzo's hierarchy of needs. There's no reason to get upset. You have your ratings. You're trying to help another person get their ratings. So why are you getting upset? Let's say they do mess up on landings over and over and over again. Okay, well then guess what? That, they, that means that they need more training. Guess what? That's more hours for you. That's more experience for you too and the student. Why get frustrated? It makes no sense. None. Be encouraging. Help the student. Okay, well, if you're having trouble on landings, if you're having trouble on maintaining altitude, okay, well, let me help you. Let me show you what to do this first. You know, power first and then trim. Here, let me show you how it's done. Show them the wrong way first and then maybe they can learn from it. Um, I had a student that could not land for to save her life. And then what I did is I didn't get frustrated. Straight level. You're not maintaining straight level. Straight level. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, okay. Straight level. Three four eight. Contact approach one three five point three. I didn't, I didn't yell at the student. I said, here are my controls. Now, I want you to hold on to the yoke and I want you to feel the rudders and I want you to feel what I'm doing. Um, after that, landings are perfect now. I didn't yell, I didn't get frustrated, I didn't do this. All right. Oh, airspeed. The airspeed's all over the place. I'm trying, Sam, I'm trying. I ain't trying hard enough. My controls. Now, some students, they just don't want to study. You know, they're in the flight school and they may seem, it may seem like they're wasting your time, 
Um, there's been students that I've had that I've taught them over and over and over and over again. I've told them where to look, you know, look in the far end, look at the PH, and they just refuse to, to, to listen or they refuse to study. That's not a reason for me to get frustrated. Okay? Then guess what? That's just more remedial flights for you. That's more remedial flights that you have to pay for. That's in, and on top of that, that's more flights for me that I get paid for. So again, there's no reason to get frustrated. But I must say, the one thing that does frustrate me is when students come from other CFIs come to me saying, you know what, I don't really think flying is for me because, you know, I'm, I got this flight instructor is getting frustrated at me. You know, he's, he's, he's just yelling at me. Uh, and but, so, you know, maybe flying is just not my thing. No, you guys have no idea what you're doing to these students. Flying is amazing. Flying is fun. Don't destroy that for the students. Remind them how fun it is to fly. It, they're not going to have fun if you're doing this. What the heck are you doing? What the you're doing? No. Stop. So next time you're out there, just, just take my advice. Just relax. It's okay. Have fun. It's You're flying an airplane. It's amazing. It's something amazing. That's why we do it all the time this is as expensive it is as hard as we work to get in these shoes that we're in why would you ruin it by yelling at another student or getting frustrated or ignoring them or being on your phone or, or whatnot pay your undivided attention to the student understand uh, why they may be screwing up help them that's your job to help them encourage them to fly they're not going to get that by you yelling at them screaming at them or getting frustrated there's no reason for it there is another way. Be that instructor. So when they do go on the airlines or when they do be their own flight instructor, they're gonna remember you for your encouragement, uh, for your positive attitude. So if you did, that's all I have for today. Uh, but just remember, as I always end my videos, <laughs> keep flying, keep learning, and have fun. Don't yell, don't, don't get frustrated, have fun. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.